node gives you big. So big. Sometimes it gives you little big. Sometimes it gives you nothing. Yes, from zero to hero, climbing is your path to enjoyment, to bliss absolute. When I was in the beginning days of my stay in Bangalore city, I was 23, touching 24. I was teaching in 13 centers, schools, and there were days when I don't have money. Not one or two schools, 13 centers in one day I'm teaching and talking. That is one class is one hour, so I must be screaming 13 hours and I'll go to that JC road there is a journalist colony where I was staying in the Pampa lodge on the sixth floor on the terrace with the sheet there one person used to sell idli for one to three days this big idli and he fills that plate with full of sambar I take two, three rounds of sambar. I go and eat eleven. And that's all. And still I continued with my bony structure of 55 kg. <laughs> so this shock, I know if God is want to take or destroy certain nervous center of my nerves. Balance is there, I'll continue. So what? Today we have the second Veda course. Do not be led by others. Awaken your own mind. Amass your own experience. And decide for yourself your own path. People and their teachers have taken this quote exactly and tried to put it into practice. Hence, there was a great disturbance in the country that we allowed the foreigners to invade us and make us slaves or around a thousand years and after the independence 70 years down the line also it has become difficult for people to understand the Vedas. Veda course do not be led by others they are telling or they are saying or they are advising you, do not be led by others, means don't allow others to lead you. And everybody suddenly jumped into the bandwagon and they started to become brahmacharis, swamijis, rushed up to the Himalayas, thinking they can directly talk to God. Vedas never said that I. Vedas have not said, I am telling you the truth. Do not be led by others means in that led by others, you have born and so many relatives and people rushes up to you, welcome you to this world. Yes. Even people from Delhi and UP and Rajasthan writes to me telling Swamiji, one new child is born in our family. It's a great welcome to our family addition. Please pray. So, and they're celebrating, can you believe? So you are supported by a huge amount of people. And once you 
are led by so many people, your mother, your father, your relatives. Everybody carries you and show you the path. What Veda says, do not be led by others. At this small age, do you think you can tell them, don't carry them? So everybody has done the job in that helping hand. You awaken yourself. You become conscious. You become an observant. In that observing and awakening and consciousness, when you grow up, you lead them. That is what Veda said, do not be led by others, means after you grown up, they are all waiting for you to lead them, lead them by working very hard about them, converting your body into a thousand man warrior. Veda quotes says, awaken your own mind, that means make your mind Till, till your mind, tick your mind, awaken means wide open your mind and look what went wrong, what is right in your family. Awaken your mind and then you find out how much more you can put according to the present circumstances and build up a little more new jnana, a new discipline into that family. That is what Veda was trying to call. Awaken your own mind means your mind is lying idle. Like Swami Vivekananda said, awake, arise. That awaken, arise. Albert Einstein says, People have used to leave 5% of their total brain power. If they have utilized the totality, what could have happened? Beauty, power, zero poverty. Veda says, amass your own experience. In all this is your experience. Means experience is powerful. Experience is money. India thinks Indian Swamiji's are the gurus of the Indian people in millions. And Brahmachari said, No, don't touch money. Money was not important. They forgot that the materialistic world is moving with money. So what, you move in the crowd, but be an individual in the crowd is not that meditation. Amass your own experience, amass your own wealth. When you have enough, you can share enough. That was what Veda does. So please, your experience of all these lovers, what you had, your mother, your father, your uncle, your auntie, all those people who had guided you, that was experiences full of money. You must put it into the market and get that money to wipe out the poverty. And decide for yourself your own path. Decide for yourself your own path. Means every child, I will decide. Who are you to tell me? All Swamiji's, all Ashan, who are you to tell me? No, no. We are telling yes. What was there? Don't disturb. From there, climb a little more. Decide for yourself your own path means you draw a bigger circle and show us. Your family has got this much circle of pro property. You have to buy bigger property before you could even partake a portion of that to use it. You are not even allowed to touch it. Yes. That was what Vedas quotes. I hope you now understand the Vedas quotes. 
Veda quotes do not be led by others. No, no. You lead them. Awaken your own mind means a little more extra jnana from your family. Amass your own experience means more wealth than money, more money, yes, materialistic money. And decide for yourself your own path means, yes, create a much bigger family, joint family and their family.